what's going on here? Let's get to work! It's Braves Beat. Hey, I'm Johnny. Hey, I'm Clara. Wait. Wait. She's Johnny, and I'm Clara. What? I'm Johnny, and she's Clara. <laughs> Let's get in the news. The Conquer the Hill race is tomorrow morning at 8.30, so make sure to come out with your friends and family to participate in Indian Hill's annual 5K race. If you haven't signed up yet, you're in luck as race day registrations will be accepted for three easy payments of $5. There will be awards awarded to the top runners and raffle prizes raffled out to all participants. If you'd like to volunteer for community service hours, please contact Zach Falter or Mrs. Schonauer. Here's Ahmed and Sale with your weekly spring sports update. Yo, Indian Hill, it's time for your weekly spring sports update. Boys Lacrosse played McNicholas on Wednesday and demolished them 16-4. The girls lacrosse also played Madeira on Wednesday and exterminated them 14-3. Be sure to check them out in the fast-paced Hannigan Galpot Girls Lacrosse Tournament on Saturday. As for our track team, track and field team, they had a meet at Finneytown on Tuesday night and decimated everybody there, taking the win. They have a golden baton relays meet at Sycamore tonight. Be there. Not only that, but the boys' tennis has been on a roll as well. They had a match on Thursday and they have matches both tonight and tomorrow. Those matches, the girls lacrosse tournament, and the track meet are all great opportunities to come out and support your brave student athletes. Contact one of the team members, including myself, to get more detailed schedule information. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, guys. As for next week, sports-wise, there's going to be a huge tailgate April 25th at 5.30 called Booster Bash. It's going to be put on by IH Boosters and is go going to be a tailgate for the boys lacrosse game at 7.30. Come out for some great community and free food. Music Fest is right around the corner, y'all. There's going to be Mazunte's Tostados, Domino's Pizza, Madison's Gelato, and Chick-fil-A. Make sure to bring in money for Music Fest so you can enjoy these fine pastries. $10 should be plenty fine. Hey, Clara. You got anything to trade for my keys? Yeah. Um. Is this good? Sweet, yeah. <laughs> Let's, uh... Let's check out what Wes could trade for a pencil. How are you doing? Uh, so basically, I'm going to be going around the school, starting with nothing, and I'm going to see what I can find, what I can trade that for, what I can work up to. Let's go, uh, let's go check it out. First instinct is going to be to just find something lying around on the ground. Um, this perfect. First object, we got a pencil. Let's see what we can trade it for. Hey, Mr. Guy, what you got? Is that unopened? Unopened. Uh, you want you want a pencil for that? You want to trade a pencil? A pencil for this? Pencil for the map. Okay. Never worth a pencil. All right. It'd be like a G2. All right, strike one. We're gonna keep going though. Peter, um, do you want this pencil for those pop tarts? Trade? Sure. Actually? Yeah, you can have this. Deal. Boom, <laughs> first trade, successful. Hey Matt, do you have anything you want to trade Pop-Tarts for? Yeah. What do you got? I got these, uh, I got these Eclipse glasses. I got, uh, I got another pair of Eclipse glasses. Ooh, you just doubled the value. Tension slip? I got a tension notice. I got a dentist card. How about those headphones at the bottom? Oh, these things are busted, you want them? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna take them. Fat, large bet. All right, deal. Believe it or not, prom is around the corner, and so is after prom. We've spoken to the chairs in charge of this year's after prom, and it sounds like it's gonna be insane. Purchase an after prom shirt in the cafeteria to support the efforts of the parents who put together this event. Stay tuned for more updates about this event, like big screen TVs, a virtual reality competition, poker tournaments. Extreme Theaters this Saturday, April 21st at 7.30 p.m. Admission is free. Extreme Theater is a 24-hour theatrical challenge. Students work in teams that consist of actors and technical theater students. Each team meets twice before the 24-hour challenge to brainstorm and organize what aspect of the challenge each student would lead. 
As part of the challenge, each team captain selects a theme and location out of a hat to create a one 15-minute original show using sound, light, costumes, makeup, and scenic element. Make sure to come out this Saturday if you are at all interested. Dart Wars is happening right now, as many of you know, and Grace Kent went out to get more information about it. Check it out. Hey. Hey, blow up. Daniel, how is Dart Wars going so far? Um, thus far, I'd say it's been a pretty solid year. It's been pretty eventful. Has anything dramatic happened this year? It's Star Wars. There, there, there's always dramatic stuff. I mean, the Rangers have been called once, uh, which is a record low, um, <laughs> surprisingly. I'm here with Alice Hardy. She is the only female kill leader left in Dark Wars with four. Four kills, excuse four kills. me. <laughs> Alice, can you tell me what it's like being a kill leader? It's truly an amazing feeling. I love the game. I'm very dedicated. It's just... It's a lifestyle, and some people just can't handle it. But me and my amazing teammates, we are dedicated, and we are stubborn, and we do not give up easily. I mean, it's all about commitment to the game and how bad you want it. If you want it bad, you're going to get it. So um, that's what it's all about. Can you guys tell me your predictions for Final Two? I'd say probably the Hamburg's team and Davis Kingfield's team. Um, I'm gonna go with my team and his team. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we got for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, see us on Snapchat, and email us with any school updates. And don't forget, in two weeks, it's gonna be Kindness Week. So next week, be nice so you can prepare for Kindness Week in two weeks. Stay classy, Indian Hill. Uh, so, Sienna, uh, what's tonight looking like for you? Um, I'm probably just going to do all my homework, stay up till 2 or 3 studying. Munching on some food. Brownies are good. Um, no, just relax at home. Yeah, relax. I have church, and then I have Bible study. Let's see, baseball game? Oh yeah, tonight is the night that my son plays in Wilmington. Goldfish and marshmallows. Did I say basketball? Kool-Aid. Luke, um, what are you doing tonight? Uh, I have a Bible study at about 7 tonight. Really? You're the second person that's had a Bible study tonight. Hi, Joel. What are you doing tonight? 